TrueSight Operations Management dashboards provide an easy way to group time series data thematically based on key resources, infrastructure, and critical applications like this one for a stock trader application. This stock trading app is accessed from users around the globe from any device and responsible app owners must be able to quickly summarize its health from a variety of sources as shown in this dashboard. This dashboard shows data from performance monitors, synthetic transactions, and log analysis. You can quickly drill into any time period using this global filter at the top. Now taking a quick tour we can see an indication of the app status here and further drill down if necessary. Looks like there's a few events we can analyze already. We've got our top and bottom performing monitors, synthetic transactions, impacted real users, and impacted synthetic transactions. Check out this performance overview for processor time over the last day. Let's see if we can find a pattern. With TrueSight Operations Management, dynamic thresholds provide key analysis by learning what is considered normal for this performance monitor and then when a measurement falls outside that range, and in this case spiking over a sustained period of time. So let's change our time period over the last two days to see if degraded performance is an ongoing pattern. It looks like it is, but not as bad as it is over the past day. Now let's check out some more dashboards. You can see that we have seven dashboards that are considered my dashboards, the one created with this demo user profile. You can also share dashboards that you create for others to view with their login credentials. In most cases you'll refine a strategy for sets of users and who gets to see what certain dashboards that are created for your environment. This next applications dashboard zeroes in more specifically to the application server itself. We all know that many applications are multi-tiered and very complex and that the responsibility for performance spans across several teams in your organization. We can quickly see this server health in terms of number of hits, CPU, latency, and memory. We can also see the client browsers that are accessing the application as well as the events to address concerning this application. Scrolling down a bit, we see the impacted users and impacted executions over our time period specified as well as an overall view of all the tiers of this application. Now think of it as being able to zero in quickly to specific details and events, but also having the big picture of the performance of your application and its impact on users. Now if you want to get event and device specific, you can see the devices that have events associated with them as well as the number of events in this dashboard. And also from this dashboard you can then see the time series data here, in this case a two-day time frame of the key device performance metrics as well as a way to pivot to in-depth log analysis with IT data analytics. Check out this last dashboard where we've associated a Twitter feed of social sentiment versus our application performance. You can see how folks tweeting about whatever it is you are tracking on Twitter in relation to the performance of your app. You see, having all the actual data you need at your fingertips with TrueSight Operations Management dashboards will help you quickly find, diagnose, and fix issues before your end users even notice. <laughs>